Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Let's go and say amen. The book of Mark tonight, chapter 9. The book of Mark, chapter 9. You can write down or follow along. Just stick with me. If you uh, read through the uh, Bible. Or you can take notes, however. Mark chapter 9 tonight. If you love the Lord, say amen. 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 Alright, we're going to try that again. If you love the Lord, say amen. amen. I can't hear y'all online. <laughs> Hope y'all, you know, watch it. But if you live like around the corner, you really should be here. Okay. Praise God. Mark chapter 9, verse 17. The book of Mark chapter 9, verse, verse 17. And one of the multitudes answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son. Praise God for that. Amen. Which had a dumb spirit, and whither so and wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to the disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. And he answered and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. And I'm going to turn to the book of Luke tonight for my text, chapter 18, verse 27. The book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 27. And he said, this is Jesus. The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Yes. So tonight, with the help of the Lord and the Holy Spirit, I'd like to use that verse of scripture and preach on a message entitled, with God. I'm asking Pastor Sir, please stand and pray. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight for your presence. God, truly, you are with us. Your son is with us, Emmanuel. We love you. We thank you tonight. Bless this service, God. Help Reverend Walker to preach your word. Help us, God, to increase our faith, to trust you, to believe truly that all things are possible. If we believe in Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you right now. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Impossible. Simple definition is something that cannot be done. Mm -hmm. Impossible is something that can be done. Yes. There are some things right here by this scripture that is God is telling us that there are some things that are impossible with man. Yes. But a lot of times people, mankind, they want to blame it. They'll say, well, there's no cure for this. You know, just because they haven't figured it out. They said there's there's nothing that can be done about this situation. All right. They want to, uh, uh, as one man said, God has the last word in my life. No matter what comes, God has the last word in my life and I'm going to make it. Amen. Amen. See, we find this man, he, he brought his son to the disciples first. And really, they was really supposed to have took care of that situation, all right? This, it really wasn't an impossible situation. It's just maybe in their mind. I don't know why they was walking with Jesus, but this man, he brought his son to the disciples first and they were supposed to cast out the dumb spirit, but they could not. So the man brought his son to Jesus and Jesus cast out the dumb spirit. Jesus did, come on now, to the disciples, to, 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 to that man, he did the impossible. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm expecting God, come on now, as I, I've heard it said, the word impossible spells I'm possible. Amen. Yeah, amen. You see, God, the God can do anything. Amen. He, he spoke and created the world. Amen. Sometimes we want to, God is the great I am. Amen. Yeah, yeah. God, he does great things. Amen. Yeah, yeah. And as I read the Bible, it seems like God works the best. Come on now, in the worst situations. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah tonight. Amen. Amen. Things getting slow where I work at. Oh, well. <laughs> Not my first rodeo. <laughs> Here we go. Here. Well, I ain't about to start singing no cadence. <laughs> All right. But, oh, well, whatever. All right. God. You got to make God not only your, your resource, but God has to be your source. Amen. Yes. Oh, hallelujah tonight. You see, Jesus expects us to do the same things he did greater and more. Amen. Yes. John chapter 14 tonight. Y'all believe the Bible? Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. You know, the Bible, uh, I thank God for the Bible. 
Hallelujah. You know, before I got before I got saved, I really didn't like to read. All right, <laughs> I ain't like to read nothing. I'm telling on myself. <laughs> oh boy, I better not tell too much on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like to read the books. All right, y'all remember Captain Kangaroo and all that guy, nice. picture pages and all that. That's some people. Oh, hallelujah! <laughs> Praise God for that guy. You know, that's some good, good childhood memories. Amen. You see, but John chapter fourteen tonight, verse twelve. John chapter fourteen and verse twelve. Verily, verily, I, this is Jesus. I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. And you read that, you'll find out it was really the father that was doing the work. Amen. Amen. God can do a work. Amen. Amen. And it don't take God long to do nothing. Amen. Amen. We are supposed to be doing the same and more works than Jesus because he gave us the power and the authority and the ability to do it. Amen. Amen. As I had a quote, I read somewhere where it said, God does not need your inability and God does not need your ability. God just needs your availability. Amen. Amen. It's been said, shadows fall behind us when we walk toward the light. Amen. I got a quote here. Someone said, without God, you are nothing. But with God, you are everything. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah tonight. Acts chapter 5, verse 14. I'm preaching on a message entitled, With God. We got to be with God. Amen. Yes. Amen. You see, uh, you all seen that bumper sticker or something, God's my co-pilot? Oh, no, what's that one? Yeah. Like, you need to change seats, okay? <laughs> what do you mean he's your co-pilot? <laughs> you, you, got, you got the car before the horse, amen? <laughs> he's God's my co-pilot. No, let God drive, amen. amen? He knows how to drive better than the GPS navigation system, amen? Okay? There's no reroute. All right, yeah. Yeah, ain't no reroute on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's it? Acts chapter 5, verse 14. And the believers were the more added to the Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. God. That's what we're trying to do, get people added to the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's not about, you know, uh, 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 I know the Bible says don't despise the, 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 you know, the day of small things. But we're trying to get people to, that's why we invite people. Yeah. All right. It's not so much uh, 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 the, the numbers, but it is numbers. Amen. The more people that hear the word or the more people that have the opportunity to become believers to be added unto the Lord. Amen. That's what it's all about. If you gain the whole world and lose your soul, what does it profit? It don't profit nothing. Amen. Praise God. And the believers, the more added to the Lord, multitude, both men and women. Oh, hallelujah. You invite men and women. Amen. I, you got I'm glad somebody invited me. Amen. Because the sister invited me. Praise God for it. Amen. Amen. I'm glad they ain't walked past me. Amen. Praise God. Well, I do, do, you know. Uh, get my invitation. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard. You wouldn't want to come to church, would you? No, I probably <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Okay, verse, verse, where are we at? Verse 15. And so must that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing might overshadow some of them. We got Peter right here in the church tonight. <laughs> Reverend Rossi. And you don't know about Peter, do you? The shadow getting bigger. The shadow. <laughs> the shadow tonight. All right, praise God. But what God, what God did is what God does. He hasn't changed. Peter, if God used Peter, come on, if God can use anybody, yes. if you read and study Peter's life, amen, he did just as worse as Judas. He sold God out too. Yes. And if Judas would have repented, God would have brought him back. If that's all it with God, just re if there's something wrong, just make it right with God tonight. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Yes. Amen. That's Ralph Waldo Emerson, whoever he is. <laughs> I wouldn't know him if I seen him. I don't even know if he's alive. <laughs> All right. 
We have taught our children to count things. Now let's teach them things that count. Amen. Yes. With God. We have to see a lot of people. It, it, well, this is just, okay, you preaching your opinion well. You know, I think I'm going to give me a commentary. commentary. Everybody's got the commentary. I'm going to give me one called My Two Cent. I'm going to put My Two Cent on it. My Two Cent Commentary. <laughs> Why not? Everybody got theirs. You know what I'm saying? Why not? Throw mine in there. It'll be a big hit. Walkers, <laughs> Reverend Walkers, Dr. Reverend Walkers. <laughs> no, Alright, but we have the same power, the same spirit. And, and, and if you read the Bible, the Bi I didn't make this up, alright? Holy men, alright? Well, the, the Bible was, some men wrote the Bible. Well, no kidding. Alright? Thanks. All right. Of course, it was. It wasn't Drunk Willie that wrote it. All right. It wasn't uh, some dope smoking pothead uh, uh, smoking that wacky tobacco on the medical myrrh, medical cigarettes that wrote this. All right. Looking like it. And Jesus didn't look like the zigzag man. <laughs> See, boy, crazy. He didn't have long hair like some girl. And that throw you off, man. <laughs> he didn't do that. He looked, he was a man's man. Amen. 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 I'm gonna speed up, I'm gonna cut across the field probably for time's sake. But Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, He said, Because of your unbelief, believe. But verily I said, there's a lot of things because of our unbelief. It's not because of God, it's because of our unbelief. Except, but we can be a believer. He said, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove his to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. Somebody say, Amen. 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 Speak to the mountain. Speak to the problem. Cast out the cast out the dumb. Cast out the enemy of your soul. Nothing shall be impossible unto you. It's been said if you it's only unthinkable if you can't think it. There's a song, his blood can make you what you ought to be. Amen. You see, life without God is like an unsharpened pencil. It has no point. Over in the book of Philippians tonight. Chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Amen. It's Christ that strengthens. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's like, see, it's not our ability. It's not, it's not in our in our works, in our goodness, in our righteousness. Come on now. It's in God who makes us righteous. Yes. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm not a sinner saved by, I'm not a sinner. Then you can't be a sinner and saved at the same time. All right. Uh, uh, Jesus said, remember she was hot, hot or cold. You cannot, when you get saved, you're not a sinner. All right. I, I, people, people call themselves, we're just a sinner. Well, you need to get saved. All right. And you get saved, you become a saint. Amen. Praise God. I'm not a sinner no more. I'm a saint saved by grace. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Colossians 1, 27. To whom God will make known. Oh, hallelujah. What is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Amen. Yes. With God tonight. If you got Christ, you got hope. You got glorious hope. Amen. Yes. Amen. And let me tell you, it's not over, come on now, until God says it's over. Yes. Amen. There is a certain way of doing things with God. Hebrews, you got to get this. I love this verse of scripture because it's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. You know, sometimes you can kind of, you can also say, but with faith, it is possible to please him. Yes. Amen. But it says Hebrews. 11 and 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe, amen, amen. that he is, come on, and he don't stop there, right. and that he is a rewarder of yeah. them that diligently seek him, amen, yeah. diligently with steady application amen. amen, not just you know, God is good, God is great 
Thank you for the food we ate. Well, you know what? That was good when you was five years old. All right. You got you to gotta, come on now. <laughs> Diligently. Come on. Come on now. We got, and you know, when, like I said, when you preach, what is it? When you point your finger, your thumb's coming back at you something like that. Three fingers. You got three fingers. Let me come back at you. All right. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not throwing stones. All right. Tonight. Faith can get you out of anything and anywhere. If faith can get you to heaven, it can break through anything down here. Amen. Yes, amen. We are joined. I'm on page three now. Of four. Got some of y'all Bible school pastors be like, I'm on page three of 15. No. And I ain't a priest an hour and a half. <laughs> you we'll continue to mock <laughs> We are joined to Jesus. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit, all right, that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs. That's powerful. And heirs of God yes. and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. Amen. And that goes on to say a few more things, but we are heirs with God. Whatever belongs to God. Belongs to his children. Yes. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Whatever belongs to Christ belongs to us. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah tonight. Matthew 6 and 9. And after this manner, therefore pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. Amen. God can give you this day. Whatever you, and just don't stop, just don't see food in that scripture, all right? <laughs> you know, I mean, that's all they do is see food. In there. <laughs> I have my shoe signs, and brother said it looked like some food. <laughs> Mark, <no. laughs> but anyway, I forbid I bring my black shoes in, probably say it looked like a Hershey bar or something. <laughs> but look, your daily bread, your supply, whatever you need. That day. What about tomorrow? Don't worry about tomorrow. <laughs> People worry. Don't worry about tomorrow. What's that saying? After all, tomorrow was is the yesterday you worried about today. Something like that. I may have that wrong. All right. All right. <laughs> People always tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. What about now? I need something right now. Amen. And God can give you something right now. And I'm about ready to close here. Back in Mark chapter 9. Verse 21, and he asked his father, Jesus, how long is it ago since, since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. And oftentimes it cast him into the fire. That's, that's bad. And into the waters to destroy him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us, and God does, and help us. Amen. Now, that's a prayer right there. God can have compassion on you. Don't say God can't help you. God can help you in any situation. Yes. This this guy, was he was in a bad situation. This bug right here is in a bad situation. Thou shall not kill, Reverend. <laughs> I think he's talking about people. That's what he's talking about. But anyway, this, this is a bad situation here. You know, this boy of a child was in a bad situation and, and this, this, this spirit, spirit tried to destroy him. And God can do anything. Yeah. He said, but if thou can do anything, God can do anything. Yeah. It's our unbelief that hinders God. It's not God, it's us. It's, what, it's whatever, you, whatever we put limits on God. Sometimes people put limits on what God can and cannot do. God can do anything. There's nothing too hard for God. Yeah. Well, you don't understand this situation, Reverend. The doctor said this. You don't understand this situation. Uh, I'm, I'm old. Your age don't got nothing to do with what God can do. Yes. Just read about Sarah and, and Abraham. All right. He was about 100 years old. And you know when God, come on now, when and God can do the same for you in any situation. 
He had to make their body. Come on now. He had to fix some things. All right. God can fix your body. Amen. Your whole body. He can make you work again. Amen. Where was I at? Verse uh, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst. Now Jesus put it back on him. Verse 22. The man said, if thou can do anything. Verse 23. Jesus said, well, if thou canst believe. All things are possible to him that believe. Amen. Amen. Like Jesus said, all you got to do is believe. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. There is a song that says, Lord, I believe. You see, it's been said, the perfect moment is this one. Right now. Just, just, just cry out like this man, Lord, I believe. And if there's any any doubt, any unbelief, Lord, help me. God can help you. God wants to help you. Amen. God came to seek and to save them that was lost. And, and, it's, and then once you get saved, brother, you become, you get in the family of God. Amen. You have special benefits. You have special rights. Amen. Healing is the children's bread. Amen. You got special blessings from God. Amen. Amen. And God loves you. And God, God can do the impossible. It may seem, it may seem impossible. It may seem impossible. I don't know everybody's situation. I don't need to know. I don't have to know. Whatever you're going through, or you may be worried about tomorrow. Well, what about this? And what about that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. Brothers and sisters, the same God, what he tell, what, what David said, or what he told them, the same God that took care of him when he was young is the same God that take care of him when he's old. Yes. Brother, when I was in Bible school, I believe Pastor David said something like, if God can't take, if God can't work it out, it can't be worked out. But he said, God can work it out. Yes. If you believe, Jesus is putting a ball in, in in that man's court. What are you going to do tonight with the word of God tonight? If you're not saved, God is saved. Well, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. I do understand. I've read the word of God. I believe God. If you can believe, all things are possible. I don't care what kind of life you have lived. God can save you. I'm speaking to you online. If you're not saved, and if you are saved, and sometimes people do, do make mistakes. The same God that forgave you once will forgive you again. Yes. Amen. And if you need something, a touch from God, come on now. God can give you this day, your daily bread. Amen. With every head bow and every eye close, the reverence of the Lord. It's Pastor Thank you, Lord, for your great grace. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. As we come and we'll begin to find a place to pray tonight. Something that you need God to do for you. Something that you want God to do for you. Something that God wants you to do. So we come and pray tonight. Ask in faith. Stop looking at the obstacles. Don't worry about what people have said. Trust God. Receive your answer to your prayer tonight. Let us come and pray tonight. God bless you. This is our prayer.